Okay, today let's look at the Starduster 2 3A300. Starduster 2, 2 as in two of us can go flying because there's two seats. Um, yep, the first one had one seat, the second one built with two seats, so now you and I can both go flying too. It's a kit built aircraft, home built by the company Aircraft Spruce. If you want to buy the kit, it is going to set you back $16,700 and that is without an engine. So uh, yeah, you're going to want to put an engine in it. There are obviously two people and it is uh, you can do some light aerobatics. So it's actually rated for plus or minus 6G. It'll do 130 miles an hour in the cruise, top speed about 170 miles an hour. It's going to hold about 44 gallons of fuel. We've given you a range of 560 miles. Gorgeous looking aircraft. If you love biplanes, you want to pull some stunts, you want to do a little bit of light aerobatics, this is a great aircraft. You can also buy one on the secondhand market. Looking through the database, we hold on the sales worldwide of Stardust 2s. It looks like they've been going for around about $24,000 up to about $35,000. So if you're not interested in putting in the 2,000 approximate hours to build the kit, because let's face it, who's got time for that? would rather just be flying. You can go and try and find a used version, a pre-built secondhand version for around about that price range, judging by the database of worldwide sales that we hold. Okay, I get it. Some people want to save some money and yep, it's fun to build it too. So if you want to save some money and get a brand new aircraft, 16,700, put your own Lycoming engine into it or maybe one of the Ford V8s, then um, that's your option. Okay, let's have a look at some aerobatics. From looking at a review of airbum.com on the Starduster 2, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. Apparently his recommendation or opinion of this is that the construction isn't much more complicated than that of an average home build, there's just more of it. So what you end up with is a home build that is nearly a production sized project and not one to be tackled without lots of space and determination. And it took him 26 months to finish. Some stats again then, let's flash them up on the screen so you can see. Now this is based on the standard Lycoming O360 power plant, the 180 brake horsepower engine, which means you're going to get a maximum speed of about 180 miles an hour or 160 knots, cruise speed of 130-ish miles an hour or 116 knots, stall speed of 56 miles an hour or 49 knots, and a service ceiling of 23,000 feet. If you dare go that high in an open cockpit, you might want to invest in a sheepskin flight jacket and silk scarf to look part of the picture. This is sold separately, I'm afraid. Okay, that's it for the Stolt Starduster 2. Sorry, the name is just a little bit ridiculous. Uh, lovely aircraft though, and if you're in the market for one, check out findaircraftforsale.com. There's a link in the description below this video. There's also going to be some links to some other goodies, so it's well worth checking that out. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.